Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class with emphasis to the core, abdominal muscles, and the legs. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders relaxed down from your ears, stomach and chest proud. Inhale your arms up above the head, turn the palm out, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale, lengthen. And then we come to a side bend, bending the lower arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Lengthening the side of your body. Inhale, arms up. Turn long, exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is a crescent moon. And side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. We lengthen the center. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Bring the back hand behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look here the back, turning the neck as well. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent, looking up. And slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. With every exhale breath, turn a little bit more. Now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. And release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm. Using the same hand to guide and support the head, lengthening, stretch, release any tension that you may have. Slowly, slowly come back to center the other side. Here to show the extended opposite arm out. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. And slowly, slowly come back to center. Shoulder strap, right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. One more breath, slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen the first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, eyes looking forward. And release, shake it up, the other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. And release, same arm up, lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back, use the other hand to guide the elbow. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Right side might be different from the left side, that's perfectly normal. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Through the pinch your shoulder blades, Opening up that heart chest. Improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together. And reverse. Oiling the shoulder joints. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Inhale your arms up, lengthen the spine, exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relaxed, forehead down. Lengthening the spine. One more breath, slowly walking the hands back. When we come to a neutral tabletop, take your time to set up. Spread all your fingers, wrist underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet, on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. 
So we're gonna do this a few times in your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement, creating spaces between vertebrates. Cat and cow also help people to relieve back pain. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly, cut it back to neutral, swing side to side. Take an inhale this and exhale to open up the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the left, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to neutral, swing side to side. And we're going to come to arm balance, right arm and left leg up, right thumb to the sky. Back toe step, core strong. Once you're set up, elbows to knee for five times. Go your own breath and your own pace. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg up. Left arm to the sky. Back toes down. Lengthening. Once you set up, elbows to knee for five times. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. Lifting the right knee off. Open shut. Bring it up to hip height if you're comfortable. Five times. And when you're done, slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Repeat on the other side. Lifting the right knee off. Hip height. Five times. After you're done, slowly, slowly release. Lifting the left leg up. Pulsing it up and down. Squeeze your glutes in tight. Neck and spine in one straight line. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. Repeat on the other side. Lifting the right leg up. Pulsing it up and down. Let's do another four. Three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to come down on our forearm. Coming into a forearm plane. Interlace the finger in front of you, elbows will be shoulder range. Coming up on your tippy toe, shift forward. Not sticking in the bottom, not sagging. One straight line, engage your core. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two. One, slowly release, come down on your knees, go into forearm plank. Bending the left arm, parallel to the top of the mat. Make your fist. Arm leg straight, top leg bend. Bring the top leg close to your body. So beginner, you can practice lifting the hip off the ground. And once you're set up, top arm up. Bridge and stretch, open up the hand. And we're gonna swing the top arm through the opening for five. So try your best. Be mindful for those who have wrists, elbows, shoulders, issues, or any issues at all. And once you're done, slowly, slowly release. And we're going to get ready on the other side. So switching side, bending the right arm, parallel to the top of the mat, make a fist. Arm leg straight, top leg bend. Bring the foot close to your body. So beginning, we can practice lifting the hip up off the ground, and when you're ready, top arm up. Reach and stretch. Engage your core abdominal muscles. We're gonna swing the top arm through the opening for five. Go your own breath. And 
and slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna come back on our knees, on all four, getting ready for a modified push-up. Spread all your finger, wrist, shoulder out of line. Cross your ankle, doesn't matter which one is on top. Now we're gonna slowly lower down, two inches at a time, and push yourself back up. Neck is long, spine is straight. So we're gonna do five on this side. You don't have to go very far down. And once you're done, slowly come up, reverse the cross of your ankle, come back here, wrist underneath your shoulders, and slowly, two inches at a time. So after you've done five, you can slowly, slowly release. Push yourself back up, sit back into a child pose to counter. Try to sit back as much as you can. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax, lengthening the spine. One more breath and we slowly, slowly come back to neutral tabletop and we're gonna to go to thread the needle. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be in front of you or wrap right around your waist. Then you can stay here, you like can extend the left leg on your toes or off the mat, any variation you like to challenge yourself. So don't worry about the back leg if you find that it's challenging to balance. Putting all body weight on the right shoulder, regular weights in the head or neck, both hips are level. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Breath the needle, inhale the left arm up, exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be down in front of you or wrap the right waist. Now you can stay here. If you wanna put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes, off the mat, or right hand, grab a hold of the right ankle. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. So don't worry about the back leg if you find that this is challenging to balance. Putting more body weight on the left shoulder. So be mindful for those who have shoulder issues on this side. And when you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. And we're gonna get ready to come up. So spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, meet your in down dog. Left the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out your toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale down. A couple more times. Inhale up, up, up on your tippy toes, stretching out your toes. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Mountain climbing by alternating bending your knees. Pushing the mat away. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our hamstrings. One more breath and we inhale. Come forward to high plank. Recently, the shoulder toes underneath the heels. Those who wish to challenge themselves, lifting one foot off, balancing on the other heel. Wrist underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. When you have enough of it, slowly release. And we're gonna have the other foot resting on the other one. Try your best. And when you have enough of it, slowly release. And we're going to slowly walk forward to meet the hands, coming into a forward bend, dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings. When you're ready, we're going to lift up the right leg, a couple of inches off the mat, grounding the standing leg and ankle. Slowly release the other side. Lifting the other leg up a few inches off the ground, working the standing leg and ankle. Slowly, slowly release. 
now. It will be more challenging if you cannot touch the map and you're going to hold on to opposite hours to do that. So it will be challenging if you cannot touch the map. So we're just going to do one more set. Let's think one leg off the ground. And slowly, slowly release. Getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to stay. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And after forward bend, we're going to go back bend to counter. So interlace the thing behind. Now push down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half up. Not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Turn the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and half up. Now we will slowly, slowly release. Shake it up. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of the mat. Eight toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injury. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back, hands on shin, eyes open forward. Exhale, hands on that, stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop your knees, tuck your elbow by your side, and then inhale, cobra or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes open up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers, middle index finger facing forward. The meaty part of your palm, as far as 10 fingertips, pushing the mat away. Release the head down by your ears. Eyes are looking at your toes. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain. Continue. Inhale your arms up. Opposite it. Back bend. Exhale forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on that, stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward, lower down. Chaturanga is on one breath. Immediately slide up to up, dog the cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye up the elbow facing each other. And we're going to go to warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left foot at 45. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed down from the knees. Eyes looking up. Finally, 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back and straight. Now we're going to transition into warrior three. So we're going to ground you into the front leg. Slowly come up. Now you can have arms forward. I'm going to give myself some more room. You can go into tumble tree or airplane, any variation you like. Both hips are level. Working the standing leg and ankle. And when you have enough of it, release the hands down. And we're going to lift the back leg up. To challenge yourself, you can hold on to the front leg with one hand or both hands and wrapping one arm around your waist. Grounding the standing leg and ankle. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the back leg down, and we're going to transition into warrior two. So wide in your stand, bring your hands to half center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor, palm facing down. Evenly distribute your legs, the weight between the two legs. Not shifting forward, sing down. Look at the front fingers. 
And then we'll come to extend the side angle, right arm, rest your right thigh, left arm up, bridge and stretch, open up the hand. Look at the top thumb. Not putting all our weights on the front thigh. And when you're ready, slowly we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down. Feel the length in the left side of your body. Release the bottom arm, holding onto your ball. Strong arm, strong core, work the legs. Slowly, slowly release, coming into reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up, left hand down the left thigh. Top arm is the crescent moon, looking up. Feel the length in the right side of your body. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Come into triangle, shorten your stand, swing the hip up, both legs are straight. Tip to the front of the room when you can't go anymore. Windmill dance. Right arm at six o'clock, left arm at 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other, both palms facing out. Look at the top thumb. Both legs are straight. However, if you have tight hamstring, slightly bend the front knee. Lift and stretch. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. Revolving triangle. Left hand by the big toe side or baby toe side of the front foot. Rotate the body to the right, right arm up. Open up the hand, look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to rise up. And from here, we're gonna use the length of our mat. Toes are pronated up, going into goddess. Hands up by your chest. Inhale up, exhale down. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Every time you come down, get a little bit lower. Slowly, slowly rise up. And we're going to pivot the feet to face the other side. I'm going to repeat everything on the other side. So square the hip to the front. Move over your one foot. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Front knees 90 degree at an angle. Between second and third toe, back and straight. One more breath, I'm going to transition into warrior three. So we're going to grab into the front leg, square the hip to the front, bring up the back leg. Now you can either have your arms forward, tumbling tree, airplane, any variation you like. Walk in a standing leg and ankle, cross spine. Doesn't have to be a high kick, stay focused. Looking at a focal point that doesn't move. And then we're going to release the hands down. Lifting the back leg up a little bit higher. So now you have more support. Feel free to challenge yourself by wrapping one arm around your legs and one arm around your waist. Both hips are level, not one hip higher than the other. When you have enough of this, we're gonna slowly bring the back leg down, coming back to our wall base stand. Bring your hands to heart center, open up, and we're gonna go into warrior two, arms parallel to the floor, not leaning forward, staying down. Strong arm, strong core, turn a little bit of front fingers. And then we're going to come to extend the side angle. The left elbow resting on the left thigh, right arm up, bridge and stretch. Open up the head. Look at the top thumb. Slowly we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back knee. Top palm facing down, lengthening the right side of the body. Release the bottom arm, holding on to your big ball, keeping your body up and open. Strong arm, strong core, work the legs. 
coming into reverse warrior, flipping the left arm up, right hand down the left right thigh. Palm arm is to press in there. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body. Slowly, slowly release. Triangle, shorten your stand. Swing the hip up. Take to the front of the ring. When you can't go anymore, windmill dance. Left arm at six o'clock. Right arm at 12 o'clock. Shoulders stand on top of each other. Both palms facing out. If you were to do this pose by the wall, all body parts touching the wall. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly rise up. We're walking triangle, right hand by the big toe side or baby toe side, the front foot. I'm grabbing my ball to lengthen my arm, turn the body to the left side, left arm up. Slide the bend in front knee if needed, if you have tight hamstring. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly, Release. And we're going to use the length of our mat again, coming into a wide leg forward bend. Toes are pulled in, pigeon toes. Hands are waist for support. Take an inhale first, exhale with hinge, leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, we're going to release the hands down, lining up the fingers with the toes, bending the elbows towards the back of the room. Release the head down. One more breath, and we're gonna inhale to a flat back, walking the hands over to one side, opposite hand, opposite leg, the other looking up. One more breath, slowly, slowly release, walking the hands over to the other side, opposite hand, opposite leg, the other arm up. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release, walking the hands back to the center of the mat. Inhale to a flat back, hands on waist for support. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. And now we're in our mountain pose. Our then toes facing in front, legs are here work, soft knees, arm by the side, palm facing forward. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel free to sway forward, backward, side to side. Opening up, slowing down the heartbeat. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. We get tight, tight, tight. <sighs> Sign that out to release. Again, inhale, your shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, to release. One last one. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale. Now from here, we're going to go into a chair pose. Inhale your arms up, sit in your chair. Waist in your heel, you should be able to see your toes wiggle your toes. Slightly tuck the tables in. Inhale up, exhale down. So every time you come down, get a little bit lower. You don't have to go very far down. You should be able to see your toes wiggle your toes here. Now we're going to stay here. Those who wish to challenge themselves, come up on your tippy toes, lifting the heel high, high up into the upward pose, and we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, how out with your strong legs, and then I'm down by your side, shake it out. Now coming into balancing, so have a sip of water first, before we go to balancing. Holding on to the wall or a chair for support, so we're going to run into, my right is your left. So run into the left leg so I can hold on to your wall. It doesn't matter. You're going to bring the knee up and to the side. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you hold on to your big toes. Inhale, up, exhale. Now, when you have your balance, if you want to let go, let go. I'm just going to wrap the top arm around my waist. Walking the standing leg and ankle, toss fine, looking at a point that doesn't move, that will help you with balancing. If you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. 
So if you come out of your pose, don't worry. Just get back in. Transferring the weight from one side to the other side. And we're gonna go again. So I'm grabbing my other leg. So you guys, if you like, can do the knee out, flex the foot. Or if you want to challenge yourself, grab a hold of the big toes, inhale up, exhale open. So you can continue to hold on for support when you're practicing. If you feel like you can let go, go ahead. So try your best. When you have enough of it, slowly bring the leg back to the center, hands on the waist. And shake it out. Now we're gonna to come to ego. So we're gonna grind into my right leg, shift the weight to the standing leg, inhale the arms up, right and the left, big, big heart, love this arm. Now you can stay here in ego arm. If you can, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb, you end up with the thumb facing your nose, lift the elbows up and away from the body, form an L shape, bring the other leg around, toe down, floating or wrapped around the standing leg. Inhale first, exhale, sit. Inhale, exhale, elbows to knee, release the head down, come into sleeping eagle, squeezing everything into the center line. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly rise up to release. Shake it up, the other side. So we're going into the other leg. If you like, you can set up the leg first, so that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna inhale the arms up. The other arm on top, big, big hug, love yourself. Now you can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb, lift the elbows up and away from the body, form in our shape. Take an inhale first, exhale, sit. Inhale, exhale, elbows to knee, release the head down, squeezing everything into the center line, coming into sleeping eagle. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly, come back up to release. Shake it up, very good. And then we're gonna to come to seated. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankles, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, open up hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold the big toe on the entire feet, inhale the length and exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest, bring the elbows on the outside of the shin, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Not forcing yourself to come down, walking with your breath always. Inhale is a lengthening breath. Exhale is to hinge forward, grow longer. Opening up the hip joints, stretching on the inner thighs. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly rise up. We're gonna wish your wiper a few times, release any tension that you may have. Bend your knees, this is the work, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Open up your legs in a big V. So feel free to use the length of your mat. Get the fleshy part out from your butt. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward, leading with the chest. So we want to open up the hip joints. Keep rolling the hip forward. Bring the hands in front of you. Bending now, there's more room to come down. Inhale the length and exhale to fold. Once again, we're not doing head to ground. When you come down, the entire unit has to come down. So we have to keep rolling the hip forward. So there's gonna be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reached your limits and your boundaries. Know your range of motion as we open up the hip joints, stretching out inner thighs. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up and we're gonna to come to a side bend. So right finger poking on the right toes, bring the toes to you. 
bending elbows, long room to come down. The other arm up, bridge and stretch. Open up the hand, look at the top of the thumb. So after we lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. If you like to release the bottom arm, shine the chest up to the ceiling, lengthening the left side of your body. Stretching out the organs on the left side, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. And slowly, slowly come back up. Now we're going to do a forward bend on the right leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, turn to the right leg, shift forward, holding onto any part of the foot, the legs. So release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Body start rocking on top of the straight leg. One more breath and slowly, slowly coming back up, walking the hands over to the other side. And we're gonna go to the gate pose. So spread all your finger, align the wrist of the shoulder, grinding the straight leg, lift up the other hip. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Be mindful for those who have wrists, elbows, shoulders, or knee issues. If you wanna turn it into balancing, lift up the top leg, either point or flex. That will engage the top leg. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. And we're going to go back to wide leg. So take your time to set up. If wide leg is difficult for you, fold the leg that you're not using. So we're going to go and reach for the other foot. If you cannot touch the foot, hold on to any part of the legs or release the hands. Bending now with the other arm up. Rigid stretch. After you have lengthened, you're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Release the bottom arm if you like. More room to come down, lengthening the right side of your body. Stretching out the organs on that side, stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. Make sure both butts are sitting down. We're not lifting one hip up. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh, keeping the top shoulder up and open. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. We're gonna do a forward bend on this leg. So we're gonna fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna to turn to this leg, shift forward, holding on to in from the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. When you come down, stomach come down first, chest, that is the last thing. Back is long, spine is straight. One more breath and slowly, slowly come back up. And we're gonna walk the hands over to the other side, spread all your finger, wrist underneath the shoulder, strain on the top leg, use your strong core to lift your hips off the ground, top arm up. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. You can stay here in the gate pose. If you wanna turn into balancing, lift up the top leg, either point the flex. That would engage the top leg. And when you have enough of it, slowly, slowly come down. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. So we're going to come to the start pose. Hands by your side, point the toes up to the ceiling. Shoulders relax down from the ears, stomach and chest proud. Close your eyes for a moment. As we stretch out the hamstring, good posture. When you're ready, we're going to go into a double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we shift forward, roll longer. Press your hands with really you beyond your feet. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, or so release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. 
coming to one leg forward then my left is your right point your toes up to the ceiling inhale your arms up lengthen exhale hinge grow longer holding on to end for the foot the legs so release the hands on either side chin is away from the body eyes and hinge forward when you come down stomach so come down first chest that is the last thing One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up, coming to see the twist, bring the bad leg on the outside of the straight leg. So beginning, you can stay here. Those who can bend the long leg, go ahead. Oh, butts down, move feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you, sit up tall. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine or wrap around your waist. Front arm, stop, side hand, prayer hands, any variation. Keep turning. Overlooking the shoulder, look in the back, turning the neck as well. As we stretch out lower back muscles, massage internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, hand to twist. Bend it out, there's more room to come down. As we stretch out lower back, and oblique. Couple more breath here, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come up. Now we're gonna go into this configuration. So I'm gonna come back on my mats again, and we're gonna go into a baby grasshopper. So bottom leg straight, front leg bend. Bring it close to your body. I'm gonna come down on my forearm. So opposite arm, or we're gonna grab opposite leg. So lift the hip up. So beginner, you can practice lifting the hip up. And when you're ready, opposite hand, opposite foot, lifting the hip off the ground. Slightly lean forward to balance yourself, coming into a baby grasshopper. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna string out the legs, bounce it a few times, and repeat one leg forward bend on the other side. Set yourself up, get the flesh apart out from your butt, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale, we hinge forward, grow longer, holding on to end of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, inhale to lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more than the chest. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to come to see the twist, bring the bad leg on the outside of the straight leg. So beginning, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead, both butts down, both feet on the ground. So we're going to go opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to your butt. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Don't need that too much. Front arm can be stop sign hand, pray your hands. And now you feel the resistance, and that's good to go. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows. More room to come down as we stretch out. Lower back, oblique. Staying here for a few breaths. Slowly come back up and we're gonna transition to baby grasshopper. I'm gonna straighten out the bottom leg. So keep the front leg bent. I'm gonna come down on my forearm. So when you're ready, so it's the opposite arm that go in front of the knee. So try your best. Some people find it is easier if they hold on to the strap and then they can grab a hold of the toes and lift your hips off the ground. Now I'm slightly leaning forward. I'm finding my center of gravity. And when you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. And pushing yourself back up, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. And we're going to transition to lie down on the mat for reclining poses. So take your time, take water if you need before you lie down on your back.
Bend your knees. Your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And then bring your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Let your body get used to lying on its back. And if you have a block, put up your block. We're going to place the block between your feet. Having your legs high up, you can have arm down by your side or behind your kneecap. Stretching our hamstrings, let the blood circulate back to your heart. Increase your immunity, improve digestion, sleep quality, overall wellness. Now from here, we're gonna pass the block to the hands. So. And then extend, so arms up above your head. And we're gonna continue lifting the legs and the arms up simultaneously, pass the block from the hands to the feet. Extend, full body stretch and continue, passing the block back and forth between the feet and the hands. Use your strong abdominal muscles to bring the legs up and down. Don't just swing the leg up and down. Try your best. Control your movement. Let's do a couple more times. And we're gonna to come to a full body stretch here. Rip cage rising. Full body stretch. And then we'll have arm down by our side, palm facing down. Taking a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, we're gonna bend both knees and extend. So draw the knee, close your body and extend. So let's do a couple of these first. Work your core. Now, when you're ready, we're gonna come up on our forearm. So we're gonna draw the knee in and extend. Draw the knee in, go to the right. Draw the knee in, come to the center to extend. Draw the knee in, going to the left. Knee in, extend. Knee in, go to the right. Knee in, Extend, knee in, go to the left. Continue, a couple more sets. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Try your best. And this is the last set. To the right. Center and to the left. Slowly come back to center, lower the upper body down, and you can remove your block. Bend your knees, windshield wiper, dropping your knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the ground. Now we're gonna open up and drop both knee to the right side. Let it fall wherever it fall. If accessible, walking your left foot outside the mat, left hand on left ankle. Make sure the left butt stay down. Now you should feel the stretch in the left quadriceps, hip joint. 
You can stay here for those who wish more intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh, dragging the knee a little bit closer. Now this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort. Slowly come out of it. One more breath and slowly, slowly release. Windshield wiper a few more times. Now we we'll open up and drop both knees to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure the right butt stay down. The stretch is here, right foot to side hip joint. If you like, right hand on right ankle. Outside foot on inside thigh, dragging it a little bit closer. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat, but make sure your butt stay down. Upper body is still on the mat. We have them roll over. A little bit of discomfort. If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and um, discomfort, please slowly come out of it. And we're gonna slowly release. We should wipe for a few more times, release tension. Now we're gonna come to a figure four. So keep your knees bent, right foot on left thigh, flexing the foot to protect your knee. Slide the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh, right elbow, push the right thigh out. If you like, you can extend the left leg, walking the hands further up. And we're gonna stretch our hamstring here. If this is too much for you, yeast off. So you control your own stretch and your own intensity. Listen to your body to avoid injury. Now you can feel the stretch here, right hip flexor, opening up the right hip joint, helping people to really sciatica condition. And when you have enough of it, we're gonna slowly, slowly release, switching side. Figure four, left foot on right thigh, flexing the foot to protect the knee, slide the hand through the opening, grab behind the right thigh, left elbow, push the left thigh out. Now you can stay here, if you like can extend the right leg, walking the hands further up to grab a hold of the foot. Now you can feel the stretch here, hamstring. If this is too much, knees off. Now you're gonna immediately feel the stretch here, left hip flexor, opening up the left hip joint, helping people with sciatica condition. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release, bring the legs down, straighten down the legs, bounce it a few times. We'll come to bicycle, so yogi bicycle, keep your knees bent, lift the feet off the ground, and when you're ready, you can go into a bicycle motion. Now you need to further challenge yourself, hands behind the head, lifting the head chest up, opposite elbows, opposite knee. Try your best. Yeah, that's right. You control the speed and the intensity. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Lower the upper body down, straighten down the legs, bounce it a few times. When releasing on the right side, wrap your hands around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending colon. Anytime you feel bloated, constipated, you can try this method and see if it's gonna help you. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Massaging the right hip joint, five times one way, five times reverse. And then we will come to spinal twist, right foot on left thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side, your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscle to support your spine, especially if you have back pain.
One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Strain on the legs, bounce it a few times. Now point the right toes up to the ceilings. We're going to go in, releasing on the other side. Grab your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending colon. Anytime you feel bloated in the abdominal area or constipated, you can try this and see if it brings you relief. Left hand on left knee. Using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Opening up the hip joint. Now from here, we're gonna go into spinal twist, left foot on right thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee, as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. If you wanna do palm facing up, just stretching different muscle. Shoulder and shoulder blades are still on that. Turn over the left side if you're next to One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your hands around your knees, rocking side to side, knee to chest. Coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering a big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum, also helping people to relieve back pain. Slowly, slowly, come back to center, lift your legs up, arm down by your side, press firmly. And we're gonna cross one leg over, and we're gonna pull down ourselves to lift the hip off the ground. Try it for five times. Working your abdominal muscles. And when you're done, slowly release, and we're gonna reverse and lift on uh, the other leg across, bend your knees a little bit, use your body's momentum, press firmly on the mat, lift your hips off the ground, even if it is just a few inches. Five times. And when you're done, slowly release, and make sure I for a few times, release tension. We're going to come to happy baby, lift your feet off the ground, bend your knees, hands on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side, massaging the entire spine, entire back, opening up hip joints. Open up your legs in a big V and you can continue to propel yourself, rocking side to side, touching down on the floor if you like. Opening up the hip joints, stretching out inner thighs. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring your legs together and down by your side. With control, we're gonna release the legs back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now we're gonna get ready to roll over on your side. So bend both knees, drop them to the right side. Raise your right arm, roll over to the right side. Coming into a fetus position. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up, coming into comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of our workout. So bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your positive energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.